Ham, the son of Noah, was the father of magic friends. In order to understand this claim, we need to revisit ancient history. After the flood of Noah, the world was replenished by the descendants of the three sons of Noah. However, the most charismatic among them was undoubtedly Ham. Ham was at first in Egypt along with his son Cush. After falling out with the Yahweh God of Noah, he cooperated with Lucifer the devil and his fallen angels of the abyss. That's where his magic came from. When Noah was drunk and Ham saw his nakedness, as it says in the book of Genesis, he used magic to shut down Noah's ability to have any more children. Above that, he had this uncanny ability to charm and spellbind the youth and lead them astray for the devil with his crazy ideas. That's what he did to the youth of Italy when he led Bacchanalia to mourn his grandson Bacchus, the son of Cush, who was King Nimrod and the Lord Shiva of Hinduism. Things got so out of hand and Noah was so concerned for the youth that he evicted Ham out of Italy with the help of Haman, the king of Libya, for which Ham killed Haman. He also took Haman's young wife, Rhea, as his second wife, even though Ham was much, much older than her. Later, Haman's son Dionysus sought to kill Ham to avenge his father's death. Fleeing Dionysus, Ham came to South India. There, he introduced a lover's first called Common Vira for the Tamil youth, which again is nothing but corrupting them. His contribution to them was Kama Sutra. He also fought with his brother Shem, known as King Bharat in India, to snatch away his kingdom from him. Meanwhile, Dionysus pursued him to India, and Ham managed to escape to the mountainous region of ancient Bactria. There, he subjugated the people by necromancy, that is magic done with the help of invoking the dead. Historian Barossus states that Ham was the Zoroaster, the Persian leader and guide of the holy rites of the Magoi. The term magician derives from the root word Magu, which literally means worshipper of fire or flame. Meanwhile, Ham had fallen out with the devil as well. It is because, in spite of all his cooperation and dedication to the devil, the water nymph Inanna, also known as Kali from the Lucifer's abyss, killed his grandson, King Nimrod, and took over his kingdom. So he started his own religion in Bactria. It had its simple rules such as think good, do good and all that without acknowledging God the creator of Adam and Eve and overlooking the fallen nature of humanity. All through the Bible, God talks of disposing bodies of the deceased loved ones to birds of prey as a disgrace and punishment for evildoers. However, that's exactly what he told his followers should do with their dead ones, the practice of which continues even today. And Ham was the first one to claim that he was the prophet of God. He was also the one who coined the slogan, There's no God but Ahura Mazda, and Zarathustra is his prophet, Zarathustra being Ham. After three and a half millennia, Muhammad adapted this catchy slogan to his religion of Islam. However, in light of the big picture I always talk about, what I have learned is that God created Adam and Eve 
and the devil tempted and made them to sin. Because of the generational nature of sin, humanity could never overcome sin. So God promised a deliverer who would set them free and that deliverer is Jesus. I have dealt with that topic in detail in my video, Jesus the promised seed of the woman. Please take a look at it. Now, being the son of God, Jesus carried his father's sinless blood which he poured out as the ultimate sacrifice on the cross. And thus, he broke the ugly cycle of sin once and forever. Today, when we acknowledge his sacrifice, he grants us eternal life in heaven. This is good news, friends. That is why this message is called the Gospel. Make Jesus your personal Savior today. You will be happy that you did. God bless you.